guys, how are we doing? My name is Jamni Patel and uh, thank you for watching this video. I'm speaking to you from Bombay in India or Mumbai in India and today we'll be talking about entity attachments, spirit attachments and things like that. So everybody's experience with entities is different. Um, an entity attachment is basically, uh, not that I know everything about it, I'll just be sharing what I know. Uh, it's a spirit, okay, a, a deceased spirit that hasn't crossed over yet, and uh, it's a human spirit. It can also be a demonic spirit, which is like a highly negative spirit, and they're always around us. It only depends, you know, it varies like whether we catch them or not. Uh, sensitive people, very uh, people who are in tune, they would pick them up more than somebody who isn't. And also people who have addictions, people who have kind of given their power and control away to another situation, uh, people who have any, so it's any sort of addiction, whether it is drugs, um, alcohol, even smoking, um, even sex uh, addiction. So anything like this, you know, where they go to a lot of crowded places with uh, low vibrations like bars and things or shady streets, um, there's, that's where you can catch an entity. And also if you're allowing somebody to kind of, you know, leech off of you, an entity is basically something that is leeching off of your energy. And it can happen to anybody. It can happen to anybody who's kind of feeling weak and low and distressed. So an entity can come on. Uh, even if you have like sleeping pill addiction or any sort of prescription pill addiction, you can have an entity on you. Um, and sometimes people who are like metaphysicians, you know, spiritual healers, tarot readers, they can also get it just because they're like you know their energy is very open and they're constantly connecting with um constantly connecting and disconnecting accessing and then getting back you know with different energies so anybody can get an entity okay and anybody who is kind of feeling weak emotionally mentally spiritually physically so what happens is that with an entity attachment you tend to feel not like yourself you feel really uh, you feel really depressed, distressed, um, you feel uh, drained of your energy, um, you, you feel every negative emotion, you cannot feel positive emotions, you do not feel like yourself and uh, you'll always be low and you know your vibe will change and all your work, whether it is personal work or professional work will get stalled, it will start getting stalled, stalled. so you'll feel a lot of blocks okay and uh, see not all entities are bad some of them are just lost spirits like stuck spirits some of them are bad some of them are vicious some of them are demonic uh, i think the movies the conjuring and the conjuring 2 and even i would say insidious but the conjuring 2 especially it explains entity attachment spirit attachment and all that very nicely and very accurately so do watch the conjuring in conjuring 2 and understand uh, the entity attachments in that because i feel it's very accurate and uh, there's a lot of depth and detail to it okay um even this other movie called lights out it was a very insidious entity where this entity is leeching off of one person who is depressed and she is blackmailing that person to you know kind of constantly stay with her so that also i felt was a very accurate depiction and um yeah and of course your health will also go for a toss if you have an entity you will not feel like going out you will not feel like doing anything you may not want to meet people people will stop meeting you uh, places where we pick entities are um, uh, crowded places uh, places with low vibration or uh, where people are drinking and smoking a lot you will understand the why you know where people are doing a lot of drugs and they're not kind of in their bodies they're not grounded um i'm sure like brothels and everything uh also of course it's, i don't mean to demean any profession but i'm just saying um also people who are sexually promiscuous and if their energy is really open and all over the place then they would have and it's very likely that they would have entity attachments um even religious places actually so whether it is a church uh, um, uh, it could be anything a church a temple a mosque a graveyard of course <laughs> um and even any sort of graveyard okay a graveyard associated with any religion see i'm not trying to demean any religion here i'm just um saying where people pick up 
so any sort of religious institution where there's a, where a lot of people go and you know pray and pour their hearts out and they're in distress people can pick up and i'm sure there are entities around or just lost spirits around there so people who are not shielded can pick it up i'm sorry um, uh, so yeah these are some of the places and of course any place which is haunted any haunted house or you know like you know that's hindi for like there are a lot of ghosts here you'll pick it up there um yeah but an entity attachment can come from anywhere now and it's not like only a particular kind of person or like bad people can pick it up anybody can pick it up and i'll tell you i had an entity attachment some time back and i really lost my head over it <laughs> Um, so I had somebody staying over at my place and I did not like her vibes and uh, I got really uncomfortable and everything and I, I kept telling you know the people in my family that it's not right and you know we should get our space back and things like that and uh, I, I, I understood that this person had entities because they didn't have they were always giving their power away they were always blaming and all of it so at that time i didn't understand all this completely so even i was in a state of blame but basically i was feeling really bad vibes and uh then i don't know one day i just you know i i noticed actually for like maybe a period of two or three weeks that my work and you know other things were just getting stalled i was feeling miserable and you know things were getting stuck i wasn't feeling like myself and i constantly felt a pain on my left shoulder and sometimes on my right shoulder like something was clutching on to me and then it struck me that you know maybe uh, i have an entity attachment like I, i've always been very open uh you know if somebody would were to come and tell me that i have an entity i wouldn't be like i wouldn't beat myself up over it or i wouldn't be like oh my god no i don't believe it i would be like okay fine if this is there please take it out so uh, i was always very open also to being scanned for any attachments and uh, then you know many times if like you know an area of a life or if you just start feeling very low generally in life and you feel that you, it's hard for you to come up it's a good idea to get scanned um see this is my experience and this is my understanding everybody's experience and understanding is different and there are experts in this field um and i'll tell you another instance as well which happened with a client and uh, so i kept feeling like this pain on you know either of the shoulders especially on the left and i would do tapping and things it wouldn't go or maybe it would go temporarily and come back and then one day i just felt that maybe i have something so i spoke to a couple of my friends one is in the us and they're all psychic <laughs> one is two of them are here so they were like it's there and i was like oh my god so first i was like i'm glad i got to the root of this and so first i got very angry at archangel michael that how did you let this happen you know how did you let this come in how why didn't you protect me and things and then i was like this is my space and this energy has to go this energy cannot leach off of me okay i of course i was also scared because you know you do get scared with an entity on you and um, so all my friends you know they said that it's there and they told me some things to do and finally i called up one of my friends and i said please just just whatever it is that please just clear it you know just please do it and i was also praying and i was doing tapping and all that that i was praying to archangel michael saint expedite maybe god is kali and archangel raziel i'm not sure but i was very clear that this is my space this is my energy and nobody else can leech off of it so this is the kind of attitude that you must have that get out of my space okay do not leech off of my energy and i want to send you out into the light i also understood that perhaps the entity had come on to me because there was something that i could give her you know maybe she had come on and in fact after she came on to me then my friend cleared her and sent her into the light so maybe her purpose and my purpose and maybe the contract was that she would come on i would uh, understand it and then i would uh, kind of get her cleared and you know set her free so that's what it was and then another time uh, another time also i felt uh, low and i felt yeah so another time also i got pretty low and um, 
Uh, and I and I felt that was it wasn't my energy. So I called up my friend and I'm like, please, uh, can you test this? Can you just check this out? And um, uh, just when she was about to tell me, at the same time I understood what energy it was. And the minute I understood that it was not my energy, it was somebody else's energy. She told me the same thing, and that was it. So it wasn't an energy. It was just somebody else's emotions that were being dumped on me. So these are very common things that happen as empaths, as you know, someone who is um, very sensitive. It's very common. So all I want to say is that if you have an entity attachment, do something about it. You know, pray to find the right people to clear you out. It's very doable. It's very accessible. It's very possible. You don't have to suffer all your life. An entity attachment can be picked up by anybody. It doesn't matter if you're like a super evolved spiritual healer um i'm not saying i'm uh, i mean i don't even call myself a spiritual healer i'm more of a facilitator so it doesn't matter whether you are like a super evolved spiritual healer or if you're just if you think you're just your average joe anybody can pick it up okay it could be your mother father sister best friend yourself anybody so always have kind of compassion always have um and also if the entity is coming, it's coming to teach you something and maybe you have to give it something and then it's done. Again, this is my understanding. I could be wrong, but this is just something that I have caged. And um, yeah, just work on getting it cleared. You don't have to live with it. You have to reclaim your space. You have to say this is my space, my energy and mine only. And you cannot stay here. And I want you to go into the light. I will help you to go into the light. Show me. Tell me, what can I do to help you go into the light? And of course, I prayed a lot to Archangel Michael because Archangel Michael, he leads souls, uh, you know, diseased souls, lost souls, everybody into the light. He shows them the way and he protects us. So that way I was kind of taken care of. And uh, I know right now I don't clear entities, but I know that in the future I will be doing that and Archangel Michael will show me the way and uh, it'll be um, an adventure <laughs> on its own and another thing so though i don't clear i can almost always gauge if you know a house has an entity or two or uh, like i'll get messages you know either it's for my friends or if it's for clients or if it's if i go to somebody's house and i sense anything and then i tell them and then it's usually validated so another instance was that i was dealing with a young girl and uh, we were doing a tapping session and it wasn't, you know, the results that she should have got. She wasn't getting it. So I was like, so I spoke to her relative, the adult in the family, uh, like the elder. And uh, he said, and I'm like, she should do all this, you know. I was like, she should do this and that and everything. And I was getting uh, an intuition that she has an entity attachment. But I, it was like really crazy to tell somebody that such a young girl had an entity attachment. Like that girl had zero energy. And of course, at that time, I was also kind of new and I wasn't very good at trusting my intuition. So then I was hesitating to tell this uh, to the person that she might have an entity attachment. And then um, anyway, I just I gave him a list of instructions and everything. And then the day got over and I went to sleep. And then in the night, actually more like towards the morning, the angels, they told me, they were like, tell him that that girl has an entity attachment, okay? And that is why she is feeling the way she is feeling. It's like they were singing in my ears that she has an entity on her. So I said, okay, if y'all are, are telling me like this, I will tell them. So the next morning, um, I called up and I was like, I hope you have an open mind about these things. And this, I'm just relaying the message I got. And he said, you know what, it's totally true, it's, it's, I totally believe you and we have been told by other people also and, you know, we are kind of working on it and I understand, um, I totally kind of resonate with this, you know, and I'm glad that the angels pushed you to tell me. So I was very grateful that this person took it well and then, you know, and of course then if the entity has to get cleared, if the person wants to let go of the entity and all that, it is their choice. <clears throat> but my job is to tell people so I'm glad that I could identify it and I could tell them and yeah so I knew that I was I, I okay I can pick this up so this is what so maybe even you pick up entities either on yourself or other people so kind of get it checked and you will like just pray who can I ask who can validate this for me 
and always go through Archangel Michael. If you don't believe in Archangel Michael or something, then go through Lord Jesus. Okay, or just God, like God. Okay, Lord Jesus, uh, Lord Shiva in Hinduism, in Islam, I guess you can just ask Allah directly. Uh, then I mean in Sikhism it's Baba Ji and so whoever you believe in like ask that person sorry ask that divine being to show you the way uh, you can also ask um, Saint Expedite you can ask your guardian angels you can ask Goddess Kali Goddess Durga Lord Hanuman is very good because he uh, um, he removes negativities negative energies black magic and of course if somebody has done black magic on you if you're a victim of black magic, then that person has literally sent you negative entities. So <clears throat> you would have them. But don't panic about this. Reclaim your space. Reclaim your power. Because there is nothing more powerful than your faith in yourself and you realizing that you are powerful and reclaiming your space. Okay? So that's all I would like to tell you on this topic right now and the more I learn I will share more but I hope this helped you and for all of you who are kind of struggling with this um, please keep praying that you get out of this and come from a space of power come from a space of owning your power and your space and remember that Archangel Michael and all the divine beings and all the forces of the light and all the white the bright forces you know everything that is divine is always working in your favor and they're all there to help you and you just need to call upon them and they will show you the way so i wish you all the best and thank you so much for listening and watching and i hope you um benefited from watching this video please do like share and subscribe my name is Janu patel and i will catch you soon bye